Welcome back to the Anglers Extra Pre-Game Show. Time now for Catch of the Day. I'm Drew Carter, joined by Andre Palante. Andre, how you doing? Good, how about you? Doing pretty well, thank you. A couple scoreless innings from you last night. How'd it feel? Pretty good. What'd you, uh, what were you throwing out there? Can you give us an idea of your arsenal? Uh, yeah, I throw a fastball, slider, curveball, and I'm developing a changeup. And you were working with Shea Langliers last night. What's it like working with him? Well, he's a great catcher. He's got a great arm. He threw a guy out for me. I think he's thrown two out for me now. But uh, he's really solid behind the plate and blocks all my pitches. Last night, you're playing Orleans at Orleans on July 4th. Pretty cool atmosphere. What was it like playing there? Well, there's a lot of fans, and that makes it a whole, much, whole lot more fun to pitch. Um, they're a very good team. They've won 10 in a row, I think, now. And uh, I was honored to be able to play against them. They have won 10 in a row. What's it like playing against them? What's your approach against them? Well, uh, going into the game, I didn't know much about them. But as I started pitching, I realized that they were very aggressive with the bats. And their biggest fall point was off-speed. And I think if we throw it early and often, we'll be fine against them. Now, your fastball is mid-90s, mid, mid yeah. And you're only 18 years old. Is there a chance that you could maybe add more velocity as you get older? Uh, I definitely think so. If I keep hitting the gym and I keep working hard, I'll be able to uh, not only throw harder, but throw more strikes and be a more effective pitcher. And at 18 years old, you're already a freshman in college, already wrapped up your freshman year. What's the story there? Uh, just young start. You was just young starting school. And I mean, it's awesome being young. It helps me out in terms of my future. and. I'm just happy to be here. And you were part of the rotation at UC Irvine this year in your freshman season, a weekend starter. What's the story there? Because you came out of the pen for most of the year. I uh, started the year off as a starter. I earned the spot in the fall. Uh, and our Friday guy, Cameron Bishop, who's also on the team, got hurt. And I took over the spot. Didn't do too well, so they moved me to the back of the bullpen. But uh, that's kind of where I found the, myself the rest of the season and did the best I could. And what's it like playing with Cameron Bishop this summer, too? Oh, uh, he's been great. He's been helping me out a lot with uh, command of my off fastball and developing my changeup and curveball. Uh, really nice guy, and I'm glad I have another year to play with him. And you also had a pretty high-profile teammate in high school. William Tribuker is a pitcher over at Brewster. What's it like playing at a high school like that? Uh, our high school that, that year was phenomenal. We had a uh, first-round draft pick in Colby Allard, a second-round draft pick in Lucas Herbert, and then, of course, William Tribuker and me, both on the team, all on the team. Uh, I mean, I was awesome watching Will pitch last week. Uh, it's kind of throwback because you see him pitch in high school and you think you never think we'd see each other again, but you know, we're seeing each other in the best league and it's awesome. Speaking of high draft picks, you played with Keston Hiura this year at UC Irvine, top 10 draft pick from Milwaukee. What was it like playing with him? Uh, he's, he's a great guy. I've met a lot of really good players and he's not only a really good player, but a great person. Uh, he loves the game of baseball and I think he's gonna be playing it for a long time. Last night you threw two scoreless. The bullpen in general was great, four scoreless as a team. Does it feel like you guys are starting to come together now? Yeah, I think consistency has been the biggest issue for us. We've had uh, very many crooked innings. I think if we clean that up, we'll be fine. And can you give me an idea of what the relationships are like in the bullpen? It seems like you guys are pretty close. Oh, we're all great friends. It's, uh, it's pretty fun being on the bullpen. This is definitely the best summer, summer league bullpen in the nation, <laughs> and uh, I don't want to be anyone else. <laughs> Who are some of your best friends in the bullpen? Uh, I think DeGroote's a good guy. Perkins, great guy. Bishop's my boy because he's from my team. But uh, I can't really choose one because they're all amazing. It seems like you guys all go over to Cumberland Farms across the street before pretty much every game. When did that start? Uh, I think that's been a tradition for most pitchers here, but uh, we definitely go there and raid their, raid their candy, candy and their uh, energy drinks. So I think they like the business. <laughs> I'm sure the coaches love to hear that too. <laughs> yeah, not too much. <laughs> all right, Andre, thank you very much. Right, thank you. Andre Palance, last night was tremendous for Chatham. Tonight, the Anglers, a rematch against Orleans here at Veterans Field. Now back to the Anglers Extra Pregame Show with Max Hurst.